In computing and data management, data mapping is the process of creating data element mappings between two distinct data models. Data mapping is used as a first step for a wide variety of data integration tasks including, data transformation or data mediation between a data source and a destination, identification of data relationships as part of data lineage analysis, discovery of hidden sensitive data such as the last four digit social security number hidden in another user it as part of a data masking or data identification project, consolidation of multiple databases into a single database and identifying redundant columns of data for consolidation or elimination, for example, a company that would like to transmit and receive purchases and Invoices with other companies might use data mapping to create data maps from a company's data to standardized ANSIASC 1012 messages for items such as purchase orders and invoices. Standards X12 standards are generic electronic data interchange standards designed to allow a company to exchange data with any other company, regardless of industry. The standards are maintained by the Accredited Standards Committee X12 with the American National Standards Institute accredited to set standards for EDI. The X-12 standards are often called ANSIASC 1012 standards. In the future, tools based on semantic web languages such as Resource Description Framework, the Web Ontology Language and Standardized Metadata Registry will make data mapping a more automatic process. This process will be accelerated if each application performed metadata publishing. Full automated data mapping is a very difficult problem. Hand-coded, graphical manual, data mappings can be done in a variety of ways using procedural code, creating XSLT transforms or by using graphical mapping tools that automatically generate executable transformation programs. These are graphical tools that allow a user to draw lines from fields in one set of data to fields in another. Some graphical data mapping tools allow users to auto-connect a source and a destination. This feature is dependent on the source and destination data element name being the same. Transformation programs are automatically created in SQL, XSLT, Java programming language or C++. These kinds of graphical tools are found in most ETL tools as the primary means of entering data maps to support data movement. Data-driven mapping this is the newest approach in data mapping and involves simultaneously evaluating actual data values in two data sources using heuristics and statistics to automatically discover complex mappings between two data sets. This approach is used to find transformations between two data sets and will discover substrings, concatenations, arithmetic, case statements as well as other kinds of transformation logic. This approach also discovers data exceptions that do not follow the discover, semantic mapping. Semantic mapping is similar to the auto-connect feature of data mappers with the exception that a metadata registry can be consulted to look up data element synonyms. For example, if the source system lists first name but the destination lists person given name, the mappings will still be made if these data elements are listed as synonyms in the metadata registry. Semantic mapping is only able to discover exact matches between columns of data and will not discover any transformation logic or exceptions between columns. See also, Big Structure, Bot's open source software for data mapping, data integration, data wrangling, identity transform, ISO IEC 11179, the ISO IEC Metadata Registry Standard, Metadata, Metadata Publishing, Schema Matching, Semantic heterogeneity, semantic mapper, semantic translation, semantic web, semantics, XSLT, XML transformation language, references. Bibliography, Bogdan Alex, Laura Chittakaru, Rena Copyright E.J. Miller, Wang Xiotan, Muse Mapping Understanding and Design by Example. ICDE 2008, 10-19, Khalid Belhajem, Norman W. Patton, Suzanne M. Embury, Alvaro A. A. Fernandez, Cornelia Hedler, Feedback-Based Annotation, Selection and Refinement of Schema Mappings for Data Spaces. EDBT 2010, 573-584, Laura Chittakaru, Wang Xiotan, Debugging Schema Mappings with Roots. VLDB 2006, 
79-90, Ronald Fagan, Laura M. Haas, Mauricio A. Hernandez, Rena Copyright E.J. Miller, Lucian Popa, Yanis Velagrakis, Clio Schema Mapping Creation and Data Exchange. Conceptual Modeling, Foundations and Applications 2009, 198-236, Ronald Fagan, Focky and G. Calatus, Rena Copyright E.J. Miller, Lucian Popa, Data Exchange, Semantics and Query Answering. Thea. Compact. Psi 336, 1, 89-124, Maurizio Lenzerini, Data Integration, A Theoretical Perspective. Pods 2002, 233-246, Rena Copyright E.J. Miller, Laura M. Haas, Mauricio A. Hernandez, Schema Mapping as Query Discovery. VLDB 2000, 77-88, External Links.